Hey yo, what's up you guys? Sorry if it took long to upload a video. The reason, well there's many reasons. Mainly, it's hard to find a good game. Uh, number two, let's see, number two I'm trying to be, <laughs> well I can't even talk, it's been a week. So, number two I'm trying to enjoy summer, uh, so I'm trying to go out a lot, uh, take a break a little bit, because you guys know I've been streaming a lot. Um, also, if it sounds like I'm screaming, I'm sorry. I'm starting to wear earphones or headphones again when I'm recording post commentary, because if I don't, I could. It's weird listening to myself, you know, talk by myself in the <laughs> in my room, you know, with nobody around me. It's so like, I don't. Know, I feel like I'm just talking to a wall, but in reality, I'm trying to talk to you guys because I got used to streaming. So doing post commentary is kind of odd for me now. <laughs> Um, but for live 20 something I'd like to see is to have like a better matchmaking system so that you know you get paired up with equal squads uh, or people with you know similar records or I don't know just something uh, or maybe penalize people that leave the lobby or if you're playing against a greater opponent you get you know more coins or a different reward um, you know for being a better opponent because I know in 2k if you play rank games and you play against let's say the warriors and you're using a you know a crappy team you know you get higher on the leaderboards you know because you beat a better team a tier one team so they should have something similar in live 20 there's a lot of different ideas but at this moment i have no idea what's gonna happen <laughs> um because i haven't seen anything okay um sorry i'm trying to freest not freestyle but do my commentaries at one shot because if i take so many tries it gets very repetitive and very long and very annoying so now I'm trying to um, do everything in one shot so I was talking about the ranked games how the matchmaking needs to be better obviously it's just a quick commentary so I didn't have much time to gather you know uh, a really good idea but it's just I know in 2k for example when you play Jordan Wreck and you leave the game uh, you get penalized they give you a warning so whenever you try to look for a game again you need to wait longer you know, there's different penalties, so maybe they should have penalties on Live 20 or just better matchmaking in general. I'm sure they could figure something out. I'm not the one working for them. Um, but anyways, I don't want to talk about that too much. It's not the point of this video. Um, the point of this video is that um, I wanted to show you guys some different things that I did in this game. Uh, I wish I could put arrows. I don't know how to put arrows on Sony Vegas because when I'm editing... Um, Oh my god, Chris Brown just started playing on my uh, on my uh, on my Spotify. Woo! Low key jamming. Uh, <laughs> uh, Say goodbye by Chris Brown just started playing. I love that song. Always brings me in my feels. Uh, so let me try to give some tips, I guess, on the. Um, I guess some gameplay. But I don't know. I get. I think it's too late because nobody's playing this game anymore. The game's kind of dead. Because when I'm trying to look for a match, like I said. Uh, everyone's leaving the lobby or you know you don't find games anymore because the game is basically dead right now <laughs> so I think it's too late to give tips uh, and I basically beat the game like my overall team I have almost I have like every card in the game like I could have a 99 overall squad if I wanted but I don't want to like I don't use 99 Magic Johnson I don't use 98 Bradley Beal I don't use 98 Gobert you know, I'm still using 94s. Like, uh, some cards that are 99s and 98s, I just don't want to use them because I don't like them. Uh, for example, 99 Magic, the reason I'm not using him is he only has 89 dribbling. And everyone has great defenders on their team. And someone with 89 dribbling is so easy to stop. And Magic's not that fast. And his shot, it's only a 90. I'm saying only a 90 because a lot of these players right now have 90 plus i mean 93 or above three point shot like curry lillard uh and other players so having a 90 is just okay right now at this stage of the game um so anyways my opponent in this game was trying to play me very tight and when someone's playing you very tight one tip i could give you guys just back up a little bit you guys could see it, i did it with d wade but he jumped this time. i don't know why but uh if someone's playing you tight just back up um, you don't have to try to do something while they're in front of you because most of the time you're gonna let's see you're gonna oh, I can't even talk right now it's been a week uh, if they're right in front of you and you try to do something most of the time they're gonna bump you or get a weird animation in their favor so just back up take your time uh, a lot of people I've played don't do that they just 
you know, try to get the ball and do something right away. But they're not using, you know, they're not taking their time. There's 24 seconds on the shot clock for a reason. Most players I play, they want to score in 10 seconds or less. They don't want to use the whole clock. If you don't get your first shot in the first 10 seconds, you know, you have more time. And did you see that Donovan Mitchell play? I wanted to um, talk about that real quick. All right, let's break down my decision here. I'm going to freeze it. So what I'm doing right here is I'm pressing R1 and I already know square and triangle is LeBron and Donovan. I already know they're going to come and they could shoot the three. And I know him as a defender, he's going to try to go to Wade in the corner or stop Curry. All the defenders and all my players are on the right side, but only Donovan is on the left side of the court. So I waited for him to come, but I didn't pass it right away. Because if you pass it right away, it's going to be a backcourt violation. So another thing I did that you didn't see, I waited two seconds. So I was hoarding R1. I didn't press square right away. I waited. And then as soon as Donovan came on the screen after those two seconds, the defense has absolutely no chance to recover because he's the only one on the left side. So that's one of the decisions I made. There's a lot more decisions that, or a lot of plays that I make that has a lot of thinking into it, but you won't know it until I break it down. Honestly, most games I've played these days, none of them have been close. Only like three games have been close. Uh, and I'm going to be uploading those in the in the next few days. But I'm going to try to do it in order if I can. Um, if I can't do it in order, I'll still try to upload a gameplay every day. Because this past week, I've just trying to been gather a lot of gameplay. So that all I have to do now is just edit and post them. So I don't have to worry about gathering gameplay, let's say, at the end of July. Because... At the end of July, there's going to have even less people playing, so it's going to be even harder to find games. So that's why I try to get all my games this week. And now that I have, you know, different footages on my hard drive, I can upload, you know, daily gameplays now until the end of July. Um, and I've also been getting bored to the point where I'm just trying to score the points with one player. So some games I'm just using Mike Conley, some games I'm just using D-Wade to score. Um, recently, I've been using Dwayne Wade just to score all the points because I got so bored of playing with my whole team because if I use my whole team, the game's going to get blown out easy, uh, really quickly and I just want to toy around a little bit. Um, I also use Mike Conley. I also have a gameplay with Kyrie Irving, 65 points. I got uh, Steph Curry. I got D. Wade and Conley, like I said. Um, I forgot. I have another player that I just used one guy to shoot the ball. I forgot who it was. But anyways, I let, you know, people try to guard. <laughs> uh, I try to challenge myself and use one player to score and outscore the opponent. And a lot of times, my opponents get mad, they can't stop it, and then <laughs> they just quit the game. But whatever, there's nothing I could do. Um, so the game is winding down. If you guys wanted, you know, anything else or anything to know or, you know, any feedback in general, just leave it in the comment section. And I'm not hating on anyone leaving the lobby. I understand, you know, this... This game is really broken, especially the matchmaking. <laughs> uh, so the game is over. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.